We got it. We did it. We did it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Welcome back to our channel. Um, I'm Stephanie and this is... Oh, you're gonna let me? Yeah. I'm Alexa. <laughs> um, today we are actually going to be talking about the five love languages quiz. It's something that we've used in our relationship a lot to work on our communication and to one, understand ourselves individually and then also understand each other. That's real. Yeah. yeah. And so um, these are kind of some types of videos that we want to do just because we've been together for so long. We just got married and this is something that we actively do in our relationship is we are constantly talking about how to make our relationship better, how to make ourselves better. Just we're always working on personal development for our own selves and also with each other. And this is something that's really important to us and we're super passionate about. About. and I wish that we had this when we were younger where we could like have a space to talk about it and like build community with other young couples so that's um, a really vital part of us like kind of being creative and making these videos is to talk about these things um, so yeah this is the first one that's gonna be kind of not just like a goofy video but we're actually gonna not talk about challenge. some yeah it's some serious challenge yeah <laughs> it's like a substantive 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 substance Substantive? Substantive, yeah, whatever. Video. <laughs> it's real important. Yes, it's real important. So um, if you want to see more videos like this or just see videos with us, please like this video, subscribe, comment, share, do everything. The bell. Yes, because we really would love to start building a community with other young people, young couples, and just like have these conversations about how to improve your lives, yourselves, your relationships. So and yeah. if there's anything else you want us to talk about, just let us know. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Um, Alexa is going to kind of kick it off because she was the one. We took this quiz about five years ago and um, we've done it. We actually just took it again because we kind of use it as a check-in, which we'll talk about. Um, but she was the one who found it. And yeah. yeah, so, okay, we've been together for over nine years. Yes. So it's a long time and you got to keep it lively and romantic and fun. Um, and also account for the fact that you as an individual are going to change. I am, mm, I don't want to stereotype us, but I will say I, I tend to be a little bit more emotional. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, when we first got together, certainly, um, I think we've balanced each other out, but I, uh, more like in tune with my emotions and all that. And so, and I just love quizzes, like online quizzes. It's fun. Yes, like, she does a lot. <laughs> what, like, what kind of pasta are you? I don't know. Uh, but, you know, it was important for me to find out. <laughs> Self discovery. Um, and I saw this quiz it's pro it was probably on Facebook or something yeah. it's called the five love languages and I thought it was gonna be one of those like silly quizzes that was just like what fault are you what kind of love language are you so I took the quiz and it actually was pretty illuminating for me um, so there's five categories of love languages it's I'm gonna take my I'm gonna do a little cheat sheet and look over here <laughs> but it's acts of service quality time words of affirmation physical touch and receiving gifts so took the quiz, she took the quiz, and it was really illuminating for me because like I said, I thought that I thought that what what it was the results were going to be different than what I thought it was. Right. And because of that, it got me thinking, and especially after seeing what her results were, it really got me thinking yes. because then certain actions in our relationship up to that point, I could interpret them differently and it kind of made sense of certain things right. that we would not argue about but like no but we you were just different more, like we, we were more perspective the romantic like she was a lot more of the traditional romantic like poems and love letters and dates hey, and like all those things. me out poem <laughs> well you haven't done that in a while um <laughs> love language but and um and i was not like that like it just didn't come naturally to me and it made sense because when i took it my number one actually was acts of service mm -hmm. so um when she found that out she was like wait a second and it for me when i sat with that i was like oh this totally makes sense because for me like showing her love is cleaning the house and doing all the laundry and like doing all the chores and being like look you came home to like this this clean beautiful home and for her it's just like okay well you're doing chores and okay, it wait. didn't really I did read. quick quick note I appreciated it no no much. not saying you didn't appreciate but it it didn't read as romantic is what I was yes I was I was you did you did I'm just trying to defend myself my <laughs> honor you know like, no it, and this <laughs> isn't about that it's that your partner didn't appreciate things it's more about how you read what is love and romantic so for her romance was very traditional for me it just wasn't that didn't come naturally 
So when we took this, it was super illuminating for us because I got to understand one, like I never knew how to verbalize what I was feeling. I just knew that, okay, writing like a poem or like planning all these like dates that just wasn't natural to me and I didn't really know how to explain it. So once I took it and I realized, oh, words of affirmation is pretty low on my list. So that was like <laughs> another one where it was like, saying compliments and things like that all the time was really low on my list. For me, it was all about acts of service and quality time. So if we're doing something together, regardless of what it is, like that I appreciate that and I love that and that feels fulfilling to me, right? It's about what feels fulfilling to you. So what we did is we talked about it mm -hmm. and we, first I would recommend when you take it is to digest it with yourself because you need to first understand what these even mean so words of affirmation can mean totally different things for people right yeah. so like even in the quiz it's kind of that's the thing you take it a little bit of the grain of salt because the quiz uses certain words but a word of affirmation could be i love you i appreciate you it could also be like you look amazing in that dress i love the way you did your makeup i love how your hair looks right like it can be different things thank you. so it's yes thank you thank so you. it's good like quality time could just be as long as we're together in the same room or home i feel fulfilled or it means like no we need to go on a date to a place and you know no phones no outside influence Sometimes it could be in a group, right? So like each other's hobbies too. Yes. That was something that when I retook the quiz today, we were talking about this episode mm -hmm. and we were talking about what we wanted to talk about. But once I took it, I realized by the questions, and you'll see if you take it yourselves, the questions and what it made me think about because of where our relationship is now. So even quality time, I think I thought about it differently back then in just like sitting together and being together and we can be doing our own things now. Mm -hmm. In the, where we're at in our lives, I feel like it's, what are your hobbies? Even if they're not my hobbies, I can still go and do that with you because right. you enjoy it. Exactly. And this, the vice versa. So for example, I really love sushi. Steph doesn't eat seafood mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. So whenever she offers, and she'll offer mm -hmm. pretty frequently for someone who doesn't eat yeah, any seafood to go to like sushi restaurants, that to me is quality time and maybe even an active service. So I feel yeah. like there's probably yeah. some overlap Layers. between these yeah. um, where I really appreciate it because she knows how much I like it. And I try to do the same for you. And the biggest thing I will say from when we took it five years ago was learning that acts of service was so high on your list mm -hmm. because when she got that high, I asked her like, what are you talking about? Because I think it was, it was pretty low on mine. Yeah, it was really low. And I literally had no idea what you were even thinking in your head mm -hmm. when you were in, like I didn't right. get it. And then she told me, oh, you know, like washing dishes. So it wasn't just that you're, that you, do that for me and that's romance for you like that's you showing your romantic feelings for me yes. but also that i could do that do for dishes me. for you right. and you feel like that's a romantic effort on my part because exactly. i was thinking like flowers and mm -hmm. love letters and she's gonna feel like all the romance from me when all not all i had to do but like i could have just washed dishes or vacuumed and then I'd be good to go. And then exactly. I don't have to write any poems anymore. But yeah, so it's just really about understanding how you feel fulfilled and then talking with your partner to understand how they feel fulfilled. So that now it's like, it's not that you're not appreciative of things maybe, but you could appreciate it even more if you know, oh, when you know Stephanie does X, Y, Z, this is her way of showing me that she loves me and she cares about me, and vice versa. When I could be like, when Alexa does this, it means she loves and cares about me. Also too, if she doesn't do that, it doesn't mean that she doesn't love <laughs> or care about me, right? It just makes you understand yourself and your partner a lot deeper. So that way, like maybe little petty things that you all argue over or that kind of bother you, you have a deeper understanding of where it's coming from, right? Like this isn't the end all be all quiz, but it's a starting point for a conversation. And when you take the quiz and you answer certain questions, they're comparative. So would you rather this or would you rather mm -hmm. that? Or like what's, no, it says what's more meaningful. And mm -hmm. it gives you a sentence of that is obviously like maybe an act of service versus a sentence about giving gifts. And so even for me taking it, it helps me be like, oh, would I rather like have you know, her grab my hand in public versus giving me a small gift, right? Do I care about the touch more or like the small gift? 
And so it's a good way to really understand yourself and also understand your partner. So we took it and we had a conversation about it and it helped us kind of understand because that was a big pain point in our relationship was mm -hmm. us not showing love in the same way. So mm -hmm. I felt like, well, she's just not doing these types of things and I get frustrated and she felt like I'm not doing those types of things, get frustrated. So once we did it, we were able to talk about it. And then from there, it's about, well, how do you put it into action with bettering your relationship? And this is my favorite saying for our relationship always, where you have to focus on progress and not perfection. So just because I knew that, oh, she wanted me to, you know, go more on dates or give her more words of affirmation, I wasn't all of a sudden every day going to be like, babe, you look so hot. Oh my gosh, your hair. Oh my gosh, your I clothes. I think you totally could have and still <laughs> no. can. But. Well, yes, but it's going to be <laughs> fake. And so what it's about is really trying to push yourself out of your comfort zone, but doing it in like a natural way where you just don't change overnight because it's going to feel really fake. So, yeah. you it's know, about compromising. compromising. And I exactly. Think, I think I did the same thing. Mm -hmm. So it just because, you know, flowers and big gestures wasn't your number one way of receiving love it didn't mean that I stopped doing those things and I think you still like those things yeah let's really quick we like all of, all of it exactly. <laughs> it's you not want like all the you languages. don't yeah. want flowers or not I don't want you to help out with things around yes. the house because it's a team effort always yes. but I think it helped just conceptualize I think more for me what you were doing it made me appreciate you more yes. if anything and it also made me think more about my actions and making sure that I gave you what you needed and I think that that was the way that it still felt natural to me because I love you mm -hmm. and I wanted to make you feel loved mm -hmm. and so you know it's still planned date nights I still well I haven't written you a poem in a while yeah. but if you want one <laughs> um, or like little love letters you started writing me little love letters right. and it was way more meaningful after we took this quiz because we had talked about it and yes. I'm like oh and she not remembers. in an argument that was the thing is that the yeah. quiz gives you a platform to discuss these things not after arguing right because so many different times we, we would talk about these things but after an argument so then of course you feel stubborn or defensive it's like I'm not gonna do that like that's not natural to me or I don't know what you're talking about you know because you just thought of an argument mm -hmm. about it so you don't feel appreciated or you know whatever you feel called out or mm -hmm. whatever it is defensive yeah defensive and so this gives you a platform to have a conversation about it in like a very calm way using it like in the future so like we said we took this like five years ago and then we just took it again and things changed yeah, surprise. yeah which we are like okay we need to digest this after because we didn't really expect it to change that much but also part of it is that the circumstances around your life change right so yeah. I feel like because they're comparative questions sometimes you could be like I quality time maybe pops up because you feel like you don't have a lot of quality time with your partner, right? Recently, acts of service is really high for me. Mm -hmm. And I also, I feel like this just happened, but I feel like acts of service shot up for me because it was so important to you almost. Yeah, and then it became maybe. important to you. Me like once you too, start doing it, you were like, oh yeah. You're right. This is really meaningful. And let's yeah. like, it's not like we weren't both collaborated they, w she was still writing me letters mm -hmm. she would still do these romantic gestures you were bringing me flowers and i was still helping out around the house but it's the way that you interpret it exactly emphasize that like it was the way that that was interpreted mm -hmm. i feel like that made the like in a big world like a big difference to me yes. right because now she would always you were always great about that but mm -hmm. I could see it as like, oh, this is an effort in the romance department, not just, you know, roommates or partners yes. without that romantic aspect. That being said, want to point out that you can take this quiz with non-romantic partnerships in mind or relationships. Totally. I think this can really work with friends, mm -hmm. family. Even when you first take the quiz, it'll say, are you taking it for yourself or for your child? Yeah. Which is and really interesting. And if you're in a relationship or if you're single. Yeah. So it's just like a good way to really have like an internal dialogue with yourself. That's why I totally suggest taking it and not discussing it with your partner at first, like digesting it for yourself mm -hmm. because it lets you know for yourself like how you give and receive love. So that way you can let like, we're talking more romantic partner, but even other people in your life, like when I do this, this is me showing you that I love you. So then they know like, if I go, you know, fill up your gas tank, you know, with gas, which given gas prices, I'm sure anyone would read that as love, but <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, I know that like, that's you showing me that you love me. 
and just as much as you know maybe me planning a date or something like that because there might be people out there who planning a date isn't that big of a deal to them like they don't really receive it as like much love so this really helps you understand the way that you give and receive love so that you can have a better communication with you know usually it's like a romantic partner but even other people in your life Mm -hmm. um, and I think it also helps you check yourself to not diminish the ways other people show love like mm -hmm. just because acts of service or quality time is high for you that doesn't mean that somebody else who likes to receive gifts that that's any less meaningful and gifts can mean a variety of things like each of these they all can mean a variety of things yeah. words of affirmation could be different types of compliments or different types of affirmations and gifts could mean you know maybe big expensive gifts but it also could mean little gifts maybe little it means making words. things yeah you there know? are plenty of times in our relationship where we've given each other even like at the store she loves Chex Mix yeah and so I remember like I would every now and then I'll still pick up a bag of Chex Mix for her yeah it's not a lot like but it's I think it's the thought exactly and so not none of these categories are good or bad they're just different and exactly. I think even each person is going to interpret each category differently too it yes. depends on on what you think what you want and there's just a lot of flexibility there yes and I, I think if anything like you said it's a great talking point starting off point for yourself too and I think that it made us better as individuals yes as well and I think it's permeated throughout our other relationships with totally. friends. in the end I think it's really important and it helps with communication yes. and I think it makes you feel more appreciated Appreciated and then also appreciative of, of what people do for you. Yeah, and making life. sure that it's reciprocated. And exactly. I think like reciprocation so good is checks so and balance. And if you're one who has trouble communicating your feelings, like I was, especially in the beginning, <laughs> this is so great for you because it gives you something tangible to reference. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. it can be hard to, if you're somebody who doesn't know how to like digest your feelings and communicate it out in a like nice way and like an eloquent way then this is a really good starting point because I know that was very hard for me. So yeah. this is definitely something that we recommend everybody doing and taking. Again, it's just a it's a starting point. It's not the end all be all. Like there's all these different quizzes, but this has been one of the most helpful tools for us. Mm -hmm. Like in the beginning we were struggling a lot to kind of understand how we were interacting with each other and it just was like it seemed like there was just something a little off or you know, we thought that we were doing something grand for the other person and they just weren't reading it that way. And this helped us understand ourselves and each other. So this is something that we totally recommend people doing, especially if you're in a relationship and really committing to sitting down and talking about, like we tell all of our couple friends to do this. Like we just did this Friday, we were talking about this and that's why we we're like, let's make a video about it. But mm -hmm. we were like, you have to take it. And they're like, oh, well, I think mine would be this. And it's like, you think you know, but even if it, affirms what you already know it's still good to have something tangible good to talk your point yeah yeah so i think that's i think, we're right, I think that's it yeah. hopefully it wasn't too rambly this is like our first video where we like sat down and like talked about things we try to have like a little cheat sheet thing as we keep looking down but <laughs> um it's kind of hard because we're just used to doing this with each other just like talking so yeah putting a format and there's some structure to it, to it. yeah <laughs> exactly um but again like we said if you want more videos like this please let us know um hopefully we become like more concise and you know we get used to making these videos Bye. but um talking about how to like work on yourself and your relationship is super important to us so if you want more videos like this, please like it, please share it, please subscribe. Please. Um, we'll put the link to this quiz yes, in the notes. The description box or yeah, whatever it's called. Um, Down below. <laughs> yeah. Try it out and even like in the comments, let us know if it was Yeah, helpful. we definitely, we like want, um, especially if you're in a relationship, especially if you're like a queer couple in a relationship, like we would love to like chat and discuss it because it's just so interesting to us, like the different ways that people operate. So mm -hmm. um, again, like, subscribe, comment, take the quiz. Let us know if you are a couple and you talk about it with each other. Let us know how it goes. Single? Um, if this helped at all, if this is a good idea. Yeah, even if you're single and it's like, hey, this helps me communicate better with my friends. Let us know. Um, we're really excited to like talk about these things and talk about like things between couples and we'll self still keep it lighthearted. We have some fun ones. Yes. We're gonna yes, mix it definitely. up, you know, we're versatile. <laughs> yes. So we'll see what we else we can yes. up with. Yes. But thank you so much for, for watching. In. Yeah. And uh, we hope to see you again. Well Hit not the see bell. you, but you Hit see the us. Bell. <laughs> Hit the bell. Is that what you're gonna do?